Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm your host with the most, the one and only. And for today, I got a really interesting video for you all. With the release of Apple Music Classical, which yes, crazy is a real thing, and comes free with your Apple Music subscription, I guess Tim Apple and the gang at Apple HQ thought it was the perfect time to release a brand new iPod Touch in 2023. Sadly, there's no redesign and most of the improvements are all internal, but trust me, for the all new iPod generation, Apple did not hold out and packed insane power under the hood all at a great value. Why buy an iPhone now when you got this ultra powerful iPod that does everything an iPhone does without, of course, the phone part. For all my fellow Apple lovers who are super nostalgic when it comes to the iPod line, this is quite possibly the very last of the iPod line we'll ever see. I'm still pretty amazed Apple chose to refresh the iPod Touch line, but hey, I'm not complaining. I love this little device and all it can do. If you've ever been interested in picking up an iPod Touch in 2023, don't worry. You've come to the right place, so I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started and take a closer look at this brand new iPod Touch 8th Gen. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. I decided to pick it up in this gorgeous product red color that features a white front, and of course, our backside is that cold unibody aluminum construction. So first things first, let's go over a quick tour of the device. First off, the main thing you'll notice is that super bright and rich 4-inch retina display, and above it, you will find your new and improved 8-megapixel front-facing sensor, which takes immaculate selfies. So if you've ever wanted to go from 100 followers to 5,000 followers on Instagram real quick, this device will help you get there. On the bottom is our retro home button. Most of the population who owns an iPhone at this point has an iPhone that is home buttonless. But for nostalgia's sake, Tim Apple has decided to leave it there and not expand those screens to modernize the design. Again, I feel that because this may very well be the last ever iPod Touch model we'll ever see, Apple decided to leave it there so Apple users can remember the good old days. On the left hand side of our device are our two metallic volume up and volume down buttons. Always useful for when you want to crank the volume all the way up while working out or honestly, whenever your parents or significant other or brothers or sisters are just talking too much and you want to drown them out. On the bottom is our lightning connector. Our speaker that now gets thrice as loud and is extremely improved being way clearer on the bass that seems like it's been amplified as well. And to the left we feature a dinosaur, a relic from the past, something from a different era. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. By the way, even though wired ear pods are supported, they are now sold separately and don't come included in the packaging. Very much like Apple, but this iPod does feature Bluetooth 5.0 for those that already have an existing pair of AirPods. It's an improvement from Bluetooth 4.1 found on the 7th gen iPod Touch, which provides faster data transfer speeds, longer range, and better power efficiency than previous versions of Bluetooth. On the backhand side is some iPod branding along with the Apple logo debossed right in the middle. And underneath that is a product red branding. But the important part here is the massive increase to our camera module situated up there at the top left. This new sensor features all of the latest camera features with up to a 23 times optical zoom. In fact, the sensor is an f1.35 21 megapixel wide sensor, and I don't know what the Apple engineering and design team are on, but miraculously, Apple was able to retain the camera bump to be as minimal and as less intrusive as possible. It's completely insane they were able to fit all of this tech inside such a tiny camera module. In fact, it hasn't changed in size at all. It features cinematic mode, ProRes video recording for the first time on the iPod Touch line, macro photography, live text, and night mode for better lighting when shooting pictures in the dark. To the right hand side of the camera sensor is a microphone and our updated dual tone retina flash. And you might be wondering what the black pill shaped thing is there at the top right? Well, that's actually a small plastic window to allow the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi signal to pass through the device a lot easier. But wait, there's more. 
The biggest and most shocking improvement is under the hood, seeing as how the iPod Touch 8th Gen now features the M1 chip. This is a complete game changer and makes productivity, battery, and performance be leaps and bounds better than the prior 7th gen iPod. Now, you should be able to edit and export full length projects off iMovie with ease. Gaming on the iPod Touch 8th gen is such a wonderful experience. Running games like Asphalt 9 or Pokemon Go show zero lag and run super smoothly. And a great benefit of the increased power under the hood also means a ton of efficiency to our battery life. Apple claims this new iPod Touch with the M1 chip should provide up to a whopping 37 and 3 eighths hour of use, which is an odd measurement, but that's what Apple is rating it at, and honestly, I can kind of see it already. On day one, I was gaming and running some Lugia raids on Pokemon Go for three straight hours, and my battery only dropped five points from 100% to 95%. It's absolutely insane. My only real complaint with this new iPod is I wish Apple could have at least enlarged the display to something like a 5 inch display. With all that power under the hood, it'd be real nice to have some extra screen real estate, especially while multitasking or gaming. But wait, ladies and gents, the best part about all of this is how generous Apple is this time around with their pricing. So, the base model, which is what we have here, starts at 256 gigabytes of storage, all for $199. But oddly, you do also have the option to add cellular connectivity to your iPod for an extra $49. So wait, I guess that would essentially make this an iPhone? I mean, right? Weird, weird move by Apple. But anyway, you can opt for a 512 gigabyte version for $299 and a whopping one terabyte model for $399, which isn't bad for everything you're getting here. So all in all, I think this is a revolutionary upgrade, something like we've never seen before. And of course, this 8th gen M1 iPod Touch is completely fake. April Fools. That's right, guys. Just wanted to make a fun video to pull y'all's legs. Of course, Apple would never put an M1 chip inside an iPod. And as a matter of fact, the iPod Touch is nowhere to be found on Apple's website. And that's because it was officially discontinued on May 10th of 2022, officially marking the end of an era. The 7th Gen iPod was the very last product in Apple's iPod lineup, and it's quite sad to have seen it gone. Of course, the iPhones essentially are iPods, just with more features and of course the fact that they're, well, phones. But many, and I mean many Apple users born in the early 90s and before, remember the rapid ascent in popularity that garnered the iPod line so much attention. It's arguably what put Apple back on the map, and what helped the iPhone to ultimately become as popular as it did. Even though we'll likely never see a new iPod, I still want to keep mine just in case. You never know, in 10 to 15 years, this thing might be worth a pretty penny. And plus, it's great to take to the gym or while on a run or something so that you're not as distracted and focus mostly just on the music instead of browsing your iPhone in between sets on TikTok or Instagram. But let me know what you guys think. How do you feel about the iPod line, which also includes the iPod Nano, the Shuffle, and the iPod Classic? Did you guys ever own one? I only own the iPod Touches, but may one day order the iPod Shuffle just for the nostalgia. Drop your comments down below. This was a super fun video to make, so I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be catching you all real soon in my next video.